Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. In this video, we're going to be making these cute little plush bags. These bags measure at about 8 inches wide by 8 inches tall, including the small handles. Using a thicker yarn will give you a bigger bag. However, I'll also be making a larger version of this bag and I'll put the free pattern for that on my website. The bag itself is no sew because it's crocheted in one piece including the straps. There is only a small amount of sewing in the optional flower. First you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn in a main bag color and then if you are doing the flower you will need two colors for that as well. You'll also need a USG crochet hook or a hook to match the yarn you're using, as well as scissors, a yarn needle and I always recommend using stitch markers. The stitches you need to know beforehand are single crochet, slip stitch, chain stitch and increase. If you are making the flower you will also need to know how to do a magic ring, a half double crochet and a double crochet. We're starting at the bottom of the bag and working up. First make a slip knot and chain 19. In the second chain from the hook, which is here, we're going to do one single crochet. and add a marker to this stitch. And now we're doing a further 16 single crochet back along the chain. Now there should be one chain stitch left and into this chain stitch we are going to do three single crochet. You should naturally start working towards the side of the chain here. Now on the underside of the chain we're going to do 16 single crochet. And then in the last chain stitch we're doing an increase, which is two single crochet into one stitch. And do a slip stitch back to that first marked single crochet. You can add a marker to that slip stitch because that's the end of the round. The next round starts in the stitch after the first stitch we marked. And we're doing 16 single crochet. And now for the next three stitches, we do two single crochet into each. So that's three increases. And we do all of that again. So 16 single crochet. Thank you. 
and then we do an increase into each of those last three stitches. In round 3 we start with 16 single crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet followed by an increase and we're going to do that 3 times. So single crochet increase, single crochet, increase, and single crochet, increase. Now we're doing all of that again, so 16 single crochet, And there should be six stitches left. And we're doing that single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and single crochet, increase. Now we're going to do 12 rounds of just 50 single crochet around, so that's no increasing. And I'll do the first of these rounds on camera. So I've just done round 4 and now I'll do rounds 5 to 15 off camera. So I've just finished round 15 and you can add more rounds if you would like the bag to be higher. For the next round we need to start at the very side of the bag. Now I'm already at the side but you might need to add one or two stitches to get there. If you add stitches, you'll need to move the stitch marker to this new end position. In round 16, we're first going to do 7 single crochet. And chain 14. Now we're going to skip 11 stitches on the bag. So count 11 single crochet on the bag. And we're going to start working again on the 12th. Starting at the 12th stitch, we're going to do 14 single crochet on the bag. Then once again we chain 14. And we're going to skip the next 11 stitches on the bag. And then do 7 single crochet. Thank you. 
In round 17, we start with 7 single crochet. Now we're doing 14 single crochet into the chain. So that's one single crochet into each chain stitch. Then 14 single crochet back on the bag. Fourteen single crochet in the chain. And then seven single crochet on the bag. Now we're going to crochet the long strap and we need to make sure we're at the side of the bag. You can add one or two single crochet to get to the side if you need. Chain 50. If you want the strap to be longer you can chain more. Then just check that the strap isn't twisted. And we're going to do a slip stitch into the opposite end of the bag. And then a slip stitch into the next stitch on the bag just to secure it. And then we're going to make slip stitches all the way back along the chain. Finish off with a slip stitch into the next stitch on the bag. Then we can cut the yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail just to sew in that end. Before weaving in that end, I'd like to just go into the next stitch like so. And then just weave in under a few stitches on the inside. Then turn the bag inside out and weave in the tail from the magic ring. And that is the main part of the bag completed. Next we're going to do the optional flower. Start with the colour you've chosen for the petals. And we're going to make a slip knot and chain 3. Then slip stitch back to the first chain stitch. And now the next round we're going to be working into the middle of the ring here. 
So we chain two and this counts as our first half double crochet and I'm going to put a marker in this stitch. Then we do 11 more half double crochet into the center of that ring. Then we do a slip stitch to the top of that first chain 2 we did. Then chain 2. And we're going to do 3 double crochet into that same stitch. If you're struggling to get the hook in, just remove the stitch marker. Chain 2 and slip stitch into the next half double crochet at the bottom. That's one petal completed. Chain 2 and then 3 double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 2 and slip stitch into the next half double crochet stitch. And we're going to do that all the way around. So chain 2, 3 double crochet in the next stitch, chain 2 and slip stitch in the next stitch. And here is my final petal. And then we slip stitch into the bottom of that first stitch that we made. Now cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing onto the bag later. And I just like to bring that tail around the back and through to the base and tie together with the first tail. I just like to shape the petals like so. Now you can either sew it onto the bag at this point, but I like to make a circle for the center. For the center of the flower, we just do six single crochet in a magic ring. I'll link my full tutorial on how I like to do the magic ring at the top of the video. Then pull the ring tight and do a slip stitch back to the first single crochet. Then you can cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail. Now we can just sew this onto the center of the flower with a few stitches. I like to take the starting tail from the magic ring and insert that into the center of the flower. Then sew in place using the other tail. Just go back and forth along the outside of the circle. Decide where you want the flower to be on the bag and I like to place it right in the center. Using one of the tails, 
Secure the base of the flower to the bag with a few stitches. Just do as many stitches as you need for it to be secure. Then simply tie the yarn tails together and cut them short. And that is your crochet bag completed. The free written pattern for this bag will be on my website and I'll also be making a larger version which I'll put on there as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.